Deep down, everyone is afraid of dying, especially me. But throughout history, people have also feared going through the motions of dying without actually doing the dying part. I'm talking about taphophobia or the fear of being buried alive. Hi there, I'm Alec Belmore, and you're watching Pint Size History and Intrigue. There are possibly hyperbolic accounts of people being accidentally buried alive all throughout history. In one instance in the 13th century, philosopher and now Saint John Dun Scotus, cousin of John Dun Wanit, I don't want it, was reportedly found outside his coffin with bloodied and torn hands from trying to escape. But hysteria surrounding the possibility of being buried alive hit its peak in the 18th and 19th centuries, spurned on by the frequency of cholera epidemics. The desire for systems that would combat the chance of reaching the final destination ahead of schedule was so great that multiple priests, doctors, and even world leaders all began designing so-called safety coffins independently of one another. For example, Dr. Adolf Gutsmith was buried several times to demonstrate his design, and in 1822 he stayed underground for several hours and even ate a meal of soup, bratwurst, marzipan, sauerkraut, spatzel, and beer delivered to him through a feeding tube that went to the coffin. Uh, honestly, goals. Perhaps the most culturally recognizable safety coffin was invented by Dr. Jonathan Gottfried Taberger and has been popularized by movies like The Nun, which I will admit I saw at a matinee alone on maybe one of the most depressing Saturday afternoons of my life. The system used a string tied at one end to a bell and to the arms or legs of the possibly deceased person on the other end. The only problem with this is that the decaying process often causes corpses to shift, ringing the bell, and signaling a false positive. The concept of safety coffins is not exclusively in the past, however. In 1995, Fabrizio Caselli patented a design for a modern safety coffin, which included an emergency alarm to a microphone and speaker, a flashlight, oxygen tank, and heart stimulator. Despite the historical fear of being buried alive, there are actually few to no documented cases of a safety coffin ever being effective. As for me, I don't plan on being buried at all. The crematorium will earn my business. Oof, is my humor too grave? Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked it, feel free to share with a friend or leave a comment. If you didn't, do the same thing, but tell me how much it sucked. That's cool too. Alright, have a good one.